Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exo Force review, and this one's on the Sky Guardian and Blade Titan from 2007. So on the front of each manual, you see the LEGO Exo Force logos, and like the first wave of manga-style pick or of one of the characters of which, and also is instead of a red strip, a more yellow gold strip. With some nice artwork on it, quite nice. Then, see a picture of the set in action. Mm -hmm. On the back, add for some of the other 2007 sets that there are, which I'll also be reviewing. Add for Lego Shop at Home and Lego Club. Oh, wait, hang on. There's pieces included and last building steps. But then also this little manga style comic strip that there is. And if any of you are to read this or admire to read this, pause the video right now. back of this one. Nice artwork again. And then another bit of that. Also pause and read if you'd like. And the little how to draw, how to draw kind of thing. But it's kind of nice, kind of all right, nice touch for that. Large artwork again. And also exoforest.com, which is no longer a thing. And a little promotional poster there. And there. And so now on to the two mini figs. That we would have Hikaru and Takeshi, well, year two versions of them. Whereas the hair pieces, face prints, same as year one, that is, but however, the torso printing's exclusive to this year. But also, these versions, I think, probably did come in a couple other sets at this time, but yeah, oh, which well, did. Well, mostly poly bags and all, but to get natural sets, these were the only way you could get them there. Or unless if you looked around more. Or, but whatever. But however, aside from that, the torso printing done quite goodly. And also, not at all the leg printing on oh, both of them, well, since they're earlier figs. On the back side, which not at all any back torso printing, also because they're earlier figs. And... Also, double side faces, also same as their previous versions. Aside from that, still good to see some variations of existing characters, of course. So, to start out with is the Sky Guardian. Which, from first glance, does look, feel kind of like both the Stealth Hunter and Silent Strike from the previous year. But with a few modifications added to it. But of course, like add, like also from first glance, you see, not at all on the optical or fiber optic cable and light brick kind of feature in it. Well, since of course, this which is the following year, and they kind of went away from that, of course. But anyway. And so some bits of it, starting with the legs, all of which the same as from most of the previous year's ones, but and, uh, like obviously the 
large jagged slopes and all, and all of which built the same way, but at least with some different things added to it to not be so repetitive. Like, do you get these curved slopes with the large stickers on them, and also these airplane jet in pieces there to propel it around Sentai Mountain, and also do you get these large two or smallish tube bits that go into the thighs. Kind of interesting how that is. And as for the center uh, cockpit kind of area, which as you can see, be yeah, kind of interesting how it's built. Like plenty of good snot going all around. Like do you get some jagged slopes on the sides, and also these other type of jet engine kind of pieces, but with the extra piece that goes into it. And not sure what for, probably for a hovering bit for it, but also on top of which is a little vent piece and also so this little tile piece that has a sticker on it for a code that's used for something on the website. And also a point ten, not sure what that means. And also this center cockpit piece is also with an interesting sticker on it, of course. And of course, can flip it down and also raise these two up when it's in resting and all. And also, enough. So, this tan kind of area, which is a little uh, standing area to stand your Hikaru minifig into. And of course, close right all, all around them, oh, which very nicely. And as for the arms, it was. Which is a little different than the legs, which where instead of these ratcheted joints, instead ball socket joints, which kind of at least good way to differentiate from the first year's ones. But however, with this one's of which, as you see, mostly made from like the uh, what some call are usually the uh, toa whatnots of a uh, or waist piece, yeah. Waist piece, waist and hip pieces in Bionicle, of course, but uses that kind of interesting, and also uh, for that, and also on both uh, those, and also above are these large bin-like pieces that are in dark blue and do have little stickers on them. Of course, of course, although in the previous year these were oftentimes used with uh, large curved slopes for that. But even though they still kind of work out as well. And as for the other or lower part of it, which I take the sword out here, which is comprised of mostly a few pieces and also a large uh, curved slope with another uh, sticker on it, and also Devastator robot arms but used as fingers, which, like we see on most mechs today, of course. And also, uh, what it's holding is this unique sword piece. If I zoom out a bit, which, as you can see, this sword piece, which shaped kind of similarly to swords that uh, the Urukai in the uh, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit uh, lines kind of do, but however, has a center bit that with a sticker piece on it. But however, quite cool for for that. But of course, if you're a mockist with construction and all, well, this would be a nice piece to use there. And fits in quite well. And as for the other arm of which, which is just nothing but just a like hand joint piece, and also a few Technic bits on it. But ending off with what in Bionicle calls a Xamersphere launcher, of course, and also do get a couple of little balls or as we call xamorspheres to go into there and above it is a little dish piece with a sticker on it and also support piece acting as the top rifle part of it and of course as you can load it up in there and you can just push it out and have it fire like so Although, let me do that one more time. Although this piece of which kind of, or these technic bits kind of get in the way. 
inside of the thumb, unless if you position your thumb just right. Also forgot to mention, above of which is are these te little technic bits that hold some like cone piece on it. Probably has extra ammunition, of course. Okay, so now that is about it with Sky Guardian. Uh, hang on. And now on to the Blade Titan. Which, as you see, also like the Sky Guardian. It's kind of similar feel to the Grand Titan from the previous year, but instead of light red, dark red. But although the Sky Guardian did have dark blue for that. Since, of course, this time also Dar used some dark coloring, of course. And uh, so let me do that. For the legs of which also all the same as the previous ones and of, and also the Sky Guardians ones. But instead of a repeat uh, jagged slope piece here, instead is using a, a curved type of slope piece in dark red, which very interesting use of that piece, of course. And but also also has some yellow mixed in like the other one, of course. And also the same piece there, but in dark red as well. And instead of jet engines, it's snot technique using smaller curved slopes. Probably making it a little different than that, of course. And as for the center canopy area, which same exact center piece as the Sky Guardian was using, but also with different uh, jagged slopes on the side. And also the same kind of effect going on, but within dark red instead. And also a little coat uh, tile piece common of this wave. And also, like the other way, you can like fish in these upwards and also have the cockpit area come right down. And of course, you get a little bit of plenty of space there. In to fit your Takeshi minifig into and close all these around him like so. But however there's a bit of asymmetricality like this side which has a cone piece to be a, probably a light and the other side none of that at all. Well, of course. And also for the one arm piece which is comprised of mostly a double ball joint brick and also a hand connector bit and also a few Technic pieces with these odd uh, pieces with cones on them and of course you can like twist it make it represent it being its own machine gun of course and as for the other side uh, the same kind of stuff but with these Technic bits to it but it's However, there is a feature with that, with, as you see, has these, uh, what some call light staves and bionicle, but, t however, are, like, somewhat white mixed with red, which you can definitely use on some, uh, mocks, if you want, but all, or at least upgrade, uh, characters like Predak and Krika, which kind of comprise of these color scheme, of course, and also on this, do you get the Classic Space Satellite Dish, or rather Kopakamata's shield, of course, and also this little wheel-like piece with a sticker on it, of course. But however, how you work this is that you can twist this back and forth, and these jet in and outward, or it's like that. Although kind of rem reminiscent of the Rituka Spinner Stoppers that uh, Kitongu and Rudaka both had. Of course, and of course, those were 2005. This was 2007, so probably was an excuse to reuse that. Of course. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. But as for the top bit. 
can see, which are comprised of mostly these extra large Technic panels with large stickers on them. But at least a little different than the Sky Guardians, of course, but at least good to see he, uh, some other pieces used here. And also, like the other one, has a little Technic beam here, but with not much else going on instead of it that extra bits and then just a simple antenna piece there but also the asymmetricality like one of which is a satellite dish piece and the other is just a quad of cone pieces used as extra blasters of course the back side is which is just the same as the sky guardians but just reverse plates of course and plenty of barrenness like all these other sets, of course. And I guess that is about it with this one. And get these two together. And so now on to the final verdict. Oh, hang on. But also forgot also to mention a good amount of posability to them, like the previous year. But yeah. And so, anyways, final verdict is I think these of which are quite cool sets, like for the time as and still well hold up, like for the fifteen dollars that they were back then, which if adjusted with inflation would now be like twenty five dollars, but still kind of well worth it for that. Like get plenty of like co get plenty of good color schemes of either white and dark blue or white and dark red of course, but also do get some unique color, uh, recolors of pieces and also a unique piece, so like with the sword of the Sky Guardian of course, and also good to see some pieces of Bionicle used here, like the Xamarin Sphere Launcher and Toa Metru wastes and whatnot, and also the lightsabers of course. And also, the variants of Takeshi and Hikaru, also nice to see here. Well, so these sets of which still good win for uh, how they are. And also, also uh, little sections that are different than most other mechs of Ninjako. But, so these are which still good winners for that. And also the heights, kind of similar to each other, but at least still work. But also, kind of too bad that they gave up on the life break features of that, but kind of expected for uh, for uh, Exo Force in the following two years of it, but yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.